right, baseball season starts tomorrow, and there's this increasing trend at Major League ballparks across the country, and that is creating unique culinary treats. But would they be just as good if you make them at home? For that, we bring in our food expert, NYC food guy himself, Lawrence Weidman. Lawrence, good to see you once again. Thanks for coming in and kind of walking us through all of these crazy food that, that we're seeing right now. It really has become uh, amazing to go to the ballpark. I mean, they, they've become more and more unique, haven't they? You know, this is a dangerous job, Steve, but I think we have the exact two people to do it. I think this all stemmed from a game of truth or dare that went horribly wrong. <laughs> right. And it's just like all the concessionaires around the nation. Oh, yeah. what, what's the most outrageous stuff that we could create? And I think the one that's getting a lot of attention right off the bat is Burgerita. This is in Atlanta. The dun, Atlanta Braves have dun, this. Dun, the yeah, right. Burgerita. This, this is monstrous. This thing is crazy. If not for its its price, $26 at the right. stadium, for its size, it is, if you can see inside here, a bacon cheeseburger with many slices of bacon and lots of cheddar with two pepperoni pizzas as its buns. And now... I just learned today, breaking news, at Atlanta, it's a plain pizza underneath and a pepperoni oh, on top. We got two perfect. pepperoni pizzas. We did it the right And way. we got the right knife to cut it. Give it. Look at this thing. All right, ready? <laughs> ah, there's only one <laughs> way to no cut a burger pizza, right. Right. and that is it's, it's like a sound, boss. Yeah, it's like got a, sound effects to it. Yeah, it's got to be like a horror movie as oh, much no. as possible. Well, we, we want to this create... Is, this looks like something from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, you would think this would be in Texas because of its size, this monster of a burger, bacon, cheeseburger, pizza sandwich, but, you know, hey. Hey, you know what? Okay, you get that side. I'll take this one. All right, let's see what this... Cheers, because I out. might not see you after this. I might go dark after <laughs> I this. i tell you what, Mike. Here goes. Oh, my arteries are crying. <laughs> my taste buds are loving it, though. They're loving it, right? Mm. That's actually pretty good. How has somebody not thought of this before? That's a great question. I don't know. I mean, maybe all the people who were working on this idea <laughs> were just a little too under the influence to actually bring it to life. <laughs> right. Someone right. finally <laughs> stood up and said, we got to sell this thing. <laughs> right. My God, guys. <laughs> This would be great, like, at 3 o'clock in the morning. This would be great, like, next day. You know, especially if you've got, like, $26 invested in just one. I'm sure you probably can... It, it wouldn't cost as much to make this at home, right? I mean, I don't know how this is not served at every college kitchen, <laughs> you know, college cafeteria across the country. And you know what? This could feed four people. <laughs> it probably could. Easily. It's over 25 bucks in the stadium. It's actually not such a bad deal. Well, when you think of baseball, you think of hot dogs and Cracker Jacks. I just wouldn't imagine putting them together in the same delicacy. I mean, hot dogs Cracker Jack is just the beginning of how we're starting to walk this line right, right. here. This line of why? This, this why, God, us, why? It takes us into left field, this and is, we enjoy it. This, right, is, this, is, by the this way, is, is the uh, Cracker Jack and Mac Dog being sold at PNC Park in Pittsburgh. Right. And you know what? The only thing I can credit this to is the fact that marijuana was recently decriminalized in Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. So, this, I mean, and I'll, we'll see why. Now, now, why don't well, I tell well, you how to build this monstrosity? How are we putting this together? All right. On top of your non bread, you have your hot dog. Put some mac and cheese on top of that hot dog. There's some jalapenos in here, too. I, I added some That's jalapenos. That's a fumble. I added jalapenos and bacon into the mac and cheese. You know why? Is that because right? I love you. You know what? I'm not even, I'm not even concerned that I've got some. <laughs> right there. I think that that's This is not about neatness. No, it's not. This is about let's make a mess. All right, okay. now extra jalapenos or oh, as you would wow. call them jalapenos. Jalapenos yeah, is what we call them here spicy at WLNY. Yeah, it's all about the jalapenos. I'm going a big heap right there. <laughs> all right, now Let's get a little avalanche of Cracker Jacks, right, classic right. baseball treat. And I, I noticed what they did here is they're not putting this on a bun because this would not fit on a bun. No, it really wouldn't. You need something wide yeah. and open, kind of like the pants you're going to have to wear if you eat this thing. <laughs> and then last but certainly not least, the best part, uh, caramel sauce oh. on top of all of this madness. Okay, you right, have right. the honors, and then I'll follow oh, suit. How Jeez, can you say Louise. No to that, God. Huh? Are you this, kidding me? This is food porn at its finest, people. <laughs> food porn at its really finest is. right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, watch How that. Fit this I mean, there's only one way oh, to do dude. it. I think I'm, I've already lost it. It's, it's breaking apart on Go big or go home. <laughs> Damn. Oh. What do you think? I'm just, I, 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 it's actually kind of good, right? It's really good. I know. Who the hell came up with this stuff? I don't know if I should eat this. I kind of look I'm in the I'm clear. Say, All right. You could fall apart, too. Oh, you did much better than me. I think it's the sweetness. It's the hot jalapenos. The, Cracker Jacks, the hot dog. I mean, oh my God! I would have never thought to put the and and do you actually get the prize as well? I mean, I left the prize for you. I could have taken you? both for okay. myself, but I feel like this is a place of love. Okay, so right. what do you get? Sharing the prize too. Uh, let's see what I get. Oh, I have it. <laughs> I have an angel's tattoo. Oh wow, that's not going to work here because yeah. I don't think anybody in here thinks you're an angel. So yeah. okay, Oakland A's. 
Oh, all right, well, all right, very good. All I right. think it's time to forget oh. about those guys on the West Coast and live in the present. Oh, right wait, here. Before that, before that, I had a real quick story. Did you hear the story about how hot dogs actually were created? I want to know. Okay, so hot dogs actually started here in New York, 1902, at the Polo Grounds. This concessionaire was having trouble in a cold April game selling what was like the snow ice and the uh, um, and ice cream. He didn't come equipped. That, he did not yeah. come equipped. <laughs> he was trying to come up with something hot, and he saw his son was eating this dachshund. It's called a dachshund sausage oh, man. Back, back then. And he said, dachshund sausages, get them while they're red hot. And those became the hot dog. Hopefully that was just uh, the word, not an actual dachshund. It wasn't an yeah. actual dachshund. Right? <laughs> 1902, I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Back then? Yeah. You know, but now, you know. but now, I mean, 100 years later, now we just add Cracker Jacks to it. I think and, that whoever that guy was selling that hot dog right. would flip in his grave right now if he saw what the hell we did to his dachshund dog. <laughs> he, would, he should be proud. Yeah. Is what he should be. This is a dachshund dog on acid. Okay. That's All what right. happened. And again, when we're trying to mix some things, you would never have thought, of a pulled pork parfait. I mean, you see but that's it what here. we're seeing here. I want to get Alvana White here for mm, a second. I mean, right. look at this freaking thing. And I left a cup here for you to build. Oh, Appropriately, okay. it is inside a Sunday glass. Of course. Here's how I want you to pork. start. Pulled pork. Well, start with the pulled pork. Oh, you, we're pulling, you need pulled a pork base okay, okay. of pulled pork. Gotcha. This is from Miller Stadium, Miller okay. Park, the Milwaukee Brewers, of course. You know, Who else would sell a pulled pork parfait? Now you got to do a little bit of gravy. Oh, the because, gravy goes in there, yeah. too. Okay. There's pulled pork, there's gravy, now some scallions. Oh, yes. Okay. And then, after that, I want you to take an ice cream scooper of mashed potatoes so this is and really drop just, it right in there, right? This is really just pulled pork And now you and need more potatoes. pulled pork in there. All right, make some room coming oh, in hot. Oh, what's, Mash it down there. What's the portions control more here? Do, what do you want to do here? Did you, you just say portion control? No, I, I'm Does saying, anything about I this mean, say you, portion you, control? You want to measure <laughs> some of this, too, right? I mean, no. You want to barrage your senses <laughs> with as much fat and salt and flavor as you possibly can fit in your brain. All and right, you hope right. that it, you need some pulled pork on oh, top. Okay, the crown pork jewel. Pork oh, yes. Now we're talking. This is a lot of pulled pork. Your fork. Okay. My fork. All right. You know what? And honestly, if I'm eating pulled pork anyways, I'm probably going to be eating this with mashed potatoes. So why not? Mm -hmm. it. See? Oh, my gosh. It, it's not ice cream. That's for sure. But I do like the fact that it's in an ice cream container. I always say I don't like anybody who doesn't like ice cream. I don't think I care about who likes ice cream or not anymore because this has taken over. This is a who, new favorite. This has got the sweetness in the pork. The scallions are a little spicy. The creaminess of the and mashed potatoes. And messiness, too. But if you want something a little cleaner, you can go to the Mets ballpark. And they've got this new one. It's called a PB and bacon on a stick. Tell us what this is like. I think you just said what it is. It's slab bacon coated in peanut butter and pretzel crumbs sold by a guy called the Pig Guy, NYC. You know, anything on a stick means that I think America's really in right. big trouble. But you know what? Let's eat. We need more meat on a stick. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're pretty good. I'm telling you, man. I have a feeling. I had this at, the, at City Field Eats the other day. <laughs> this has become like the most popular thing at City Field, and I would suggest everybody go out there and get one, maybe two. It's Bartolo Colon's <laughs> favorite, right? <laughs> NYC Food Guy. I'm a choked on it. NYC Food Guy, Lawrence Weidman. Awesome stuff. Thank you so much, man. Right back at you. <laughs> All right. Stick around. We'll be right back. And uh, we're going to see if we can clean this table off. Oh, boy. We'll start with this. <laughs>